Welcome back to Bob's Corner. Today I'm going to be getting into season two, episode one of Ozark. This episode is called Blue Cat. Um, only prediction I really have for this episode is that the, uh, Margaret, Martin and his family is going to be getting settled into their new home down in Missouri. So yeah. Other than that, that's the only prediction I have based off the pilot. But yeah. Let's get it. For this house, I want you to find one as nice as possible, or as cheap as possible. I want you to think starter home and have twenty thousand dollars to our name. Just twenty. So please do not sign anything without talking to me first. And we are not husband and wife anymore. Mm. We're just business partners. Our jobs to raise those kids. Mm. Well, you're absolutely right that I share some blame for this. I should have caught Bruce. I was in charge of the numbers. I should have seen it coming. But my mind was elsewhere, Wendy. You know, it's Saturday night, and your your foxy boxing or your Zumba, whatever the hell it is, it cost me a few hundred dollars every single month. It ended two hours ago, and there's no Wendy. Why does she get so many texts every night? Why does she have to leave the room to make a phone call? I wonder who's fucking my wife. So that's my bad. And no, I, I don't forget, Gary, I don't forget how you emptied our bank accounts when you knew I needed that money, Wendy. You knew I needed it. And I doubt very, very much that you did that by yourself, that you did that in a vacuum. So my memory is crystal clear. I was there for all of it. In fact, the satisfying sound of your lover smacking the pavement is the only thing that gets me to sleep every night. Damn. Nah, she won. I don't even know why she even got me up. That is so fun to see from him up. Like, especially while it's so fresh. Like, what am I doing? Michelle, you know what to do. Come on, baby. It's all for you. Just gobble it up. Oh, yeah. Get after it. Ooh. Sam Dermody. Uh, sorry, it's, you know, people are out for lunch. Uh, Get yourself yeah. together. Give your girl some water. I'll meet you outside. Yeah, you got it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, housekeeping. Yeah, no need to go in there. Thank you. I, I help turn around struggling businesses. You intend to make money off of businesses that aren't making any. Get around. Let's get some ice on that lip. She, uh, country yeah. as hell, because she still said colored. <laughs> the fuck? You say, yeah, I'm not having it. You know, I just keep bringing those people out this long. But I guess it's 20K. It's not making things do it, honestly. Anyway, three and I are going wakeboarding a little bit if you guys want to come along. Leaving in like 20 minutes. They're going to sit right here all day. Because somebody won that money. Yeah, it's good. It's out. Pads and a Pandora bracelet. How about it? No, bro. You have one fucking job. Simply because they have an affinity for the product, you know what I'm saying? And, and that they not necessarily have a very strong business model. It, it happens all the time. So I like titties, so I open a titty bar. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, we're gentlemen's club. Not sure what you call it around here, but it's uh, called a titty bar. Okay. You think you can do better? Well, I think that any business could benefit from a set of fresh eyes, and my research tells me that we have to go. I can focus on the combo, uh, but her and the three people are just like, what the fuck? That sounds crazy. I think they're dancing. I think that uh, a higher caliber thing like uh, washing your money. What you doing, ain't it? I don't think you really. Hey! Two 
see, Doc. That's a lot. There's no way I can afford this. Hey, Sam. Hey, buddy. Actually, it's under your budget. That's the one. You should show her that first. Don't leave, baby. Stay. Oh, God. You got to leave, too? Where's he going? If he's he hiding all the value and shit and taking it with him, where's he going? Hey, Sam. Hey. Did they flew the boat? $1,575 for a propeller stainless steel. Hmm. So, uh, my guess is that this all comes down to simple run of the mill laziness. Shut up, Marty. How's that? Hmm. What happened there? And do the, the Langmore spout? Not historically, no, ma'am. I would think that boats would be very valuable around here. Do they pay taxes? We do. Both. And? I put a deposit from my home. Fucking girl at the hotel. Where'd you get this? Uh, for food. <laughs> I, I went for a short walk. I took the computers and bracelet with me. Exactly. 
Exactly. I don't know why. He's rich. He's gonna get the money back and put it in them tubs. And that's what I was, that's what they were showing in the beginning of the first episode. And he was carrying them. I think. Yeah. Mm. Just a hunch. Fascinating wow. and start removing their skin until it locates the rest of you. So you decide right now, once and for all, are you killers? You know, case could be made that the disappearance of Mr. Bird. I'll let him know. She ain't shit. You shot her ass out of there. You show her ass on. This is what I saw. Okay, that makes sense. These things in here are making me want to go fishing. I'm going to need that money at which point I'll seize it. All of it. And then my career will be made. That's how I'm going to do it. You and me. Have you thought about how we're going to do this? Oh, you exit him out? No. Oh. Exit him out, I guess. Nice. Oh, okay. That's what I said. It looked like a pretty big jump. I don't know. Do that. Smart kid seem like he's smart because he took all the values. So he's keen, like he kind of knows what's up. No, right. She let him go. No, bitch, you not to let him go. Kicking and screaming. You don't let him do this. What the fuck? Good morning, it's Smarty Bird. I've got a little bit of a random question for you. Have you, by chance, ever handled any life insurance investigations or statistics, really, on how often carriers deny claims if there's any suspicion that the policyholder has committed suicide? Talk about it, William. P.I. Talk about it. Does this client have an actual claim that's been denied, or is he just curious? I think he just wants to know how often the, the claim is, is paid out after the investigation. Talking about it. How how many times they fall through with the payment. Um, you know, I guess a percentage maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, what can I tell him? What do you think? Uh, 85% or, or 
seventy percent in. Is it, is it? Thanks so much for your help. You stupid plan. Stupid plan. Jesus Christ. That's where he's gonna land in his money. Yes, yes, I know. I, 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 that's all I asked. Girl, you're stupid because you should have right. kept Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. First Thank you. He can't lie before he's gonna start lying. I wasn't thinking straight. Yeah, duh. I'm scared of losing it. Hey, pal. Tell me more about the Blue Cat Lodge. Ooh, the light is slow. Is it big for our translation? Retard I've ever seen. Really? Hey. Talking him like that? Don't use that word. What the hell's the matter with you? Did you say something to me? You can't use that word. I don't think so. Now I want you to apologize to that young man right now. You miserable redneck. <laughs> Not what she got. Mom, what are we doing here? Moving. Moving in. Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Why would she tell him that? Oh, why would she do that? I don't think that was wise at all. But anyway. Nice episode. PBC Marty has been struggling with trying to find a business to launder this money through, but I think he kind of got through to the lady who's over Blue Cat. I think she's going to give him a chance and see what he can do. And, um,. What else? Um, I love Jonah again. Once again, I'm a part of the Jonah fan club. He's so sweet and smart. He actually gave his dad. You gotta put that idea in his dad's head about the lounge, and he ended up going there to check it out. I think that's because it's a restaurant, it's a bar, um, it's a freaking lodge. Like it's a lot to offer. You can like turn it around and help it bustle. Um. She didn't send that email, so you don't have to worry about Dale coming down for now. You recoup most of the money back. What else? The sheriff seems like a dickhead. That's all I can think of right now for the recap, but nice episode. Um, yeah, nice episode. Uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.